Hi, Jir here from Mix Analog. The Elysia envelope is, in the words of its creators, a discrete class A stereo impulse shaper. In other words, it does what a compressor expander could do if it had a small brain and a bit more sense for musicality. It allows you to take full control of the transients and decay of your track in a level independent way. Elysia is a German company established some 15 years ago by no other than the designer of the famous SPL Transient Designer. The envelope is, in that respect, the true heir to the original Transient Designer unit, and being a next-generation design, it pushes the sonics even a step further. It improves on the level of control by introducing frequency-dependent processing, and it improves on the transparency and musicality of the signal chain by offering a new discrete class A circuit design throughout the unit. Well, to be honest, the design of all the Elysia's boxes we've seen so far is a work of art. Let's take a look at the controls. Attack controls the level of either amplification or attenuation of transients, sharp changes in loudness at the very start of percussive sounds. Turn it clockwise to achieve a more snappy, punchy sound, or counterclockwise to get a more compressed, attenuated transients. Attack frequency controls a high-pass filter in the sidechain of attack processing. This allows you to only augment or attenuate the high-frequency snap without introducing low-end thumping or making the track dull. For general purpose, full-band attack control turn it fully counterclockwise. Sustain controls the amount of amplification or attenuation of the background, low-level sounds that follow the transients. Use it to tame excessive ringing of acoustic drums, clean up voiceover recordings, or augment otherwise boring sounds by bringing up the instrument's release and reverberation. The sustain frequency controls a low-pass filter in the sustain sidechain. Use it to, for example, only tame the low-end rumble without affecting a nice natural reverberation of a track. For general purpose, full-band sustain control, turn this one fully clockwise. Going on to the center section controls, the on-off buttons are true bypass switches. The EQ buttons turn the envelope into a two-band shelving EQ, but more on that later. The full range button makes the unit behave like a classic transient designer. The attack frequency is still active and lets you control how much the low end affects the signal processing, but the sustain frequency is out of the signal path in this mode. The link button links the controls of left and right channels for precise stereo control. And the last one is the auto gain function. This is only available when the envelope is operating in the full range mode. 
Use it to avoid clipping when using healthy amounts of processing on an already high volume track, as it drops the volume of processed audio in proportion to the attack and release gain settings. So, back to the EQ mode. By engaging the EQ mode switches, the envelope becomes a two-band Class A shelving EQ. In this mode of operation, the attack section controls the high shelf, and the sustain section controls the low shelf. The routine was sinking us. What's life if you can flow freely? The routine was sinking us. What's life if you can flow freely? The routine was sinking us. What's life if you can flow freely? The routine was sinking us. What's life if you can flow freely? The Elysia envelope is available at Mix Analog. Simply make a reservation and try it out on your own material. Until next time, bye!